Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a scroll to top button on your website. You may have seen this in a lot of websites. I'll just show you a demo. So here we can see we have the web page. And when we scroll down and when we reach about 200 pixels from the top, we can see we get a button to scroll to the top of the page. And when we click on that button, it takes us back to the top of our web page. So we'll be designing this in this video and uh, we'll be adding this to our blogger website as well. So let's get started. We'll be using font awesome icons for uh, this button. So just search for font awesome CDN and uh, go to this website. And just go ahead and copy this line of code. And here I am using a code editor called VS Code. And I created a folder called scroll to top and I opened it with VS Code. So let's start by creating all the necessary files. We'll create an index.html file. And then we'll create a style.css file. And then we also need a JavaScript file. Alright, let's start with the index.html file. In VS Code, you have Emmet already installed. So you can just type exclamation and press tab to get this basic HTML5 boilerplate. And we'll also link our style.css file over here. And then we'll also link our uh, JavaScript file. So script src main.js. And we'll also link our uh, font awesome CDN over here. So just tap link. And in href, you have to just paste the code that we copied from here. All right, now let's start with our markup. We just have a basic heading. And uh, we'll have a number of paragraphs. I'll just copy this a couple of times. And let's open this with live server. So this is an extension that I have installed on VS Code. So here is our web page. Now let's create the scroll to top button. So we'll create a division with a class of scroll to top. And in that we'll use the font awesome icon. So to use a font awesome icon, you have to use the I tag. So we'll type I and we'll give it a class of FA and FA Chevron up. And now if we scroll down, we can see this icon. So that's basically it with the HTML. Now let's go to our CSS and start styling this page. We'll just give some basic styling to the body. So we'll set the padding to 14 pixels and we'll set the font family to Roboto and uh, we'll even set the line height to 1.8. These styles are applied for just this page. When we are copying this to our blogger website, we won't be copying these lines of code. So copy the following lines of code. Alright, so let's style the scroll to top division. First of all, we will set the position to fixed. So it always stays in the same position even if we scroll. And uh, for the bottom, we will set it to 48 pixels. And uh, for the right, we will set it to 32 pixels. And uh, we can see our icon right here. Now let's give it a background color. So we'll set a background color of 34495E. And we'll also give it a border radius of 40%. And we'll also give it a box shadow of 0 pixels, 4 pixels, 16 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.5 for the opacity 
and then we'll also set the cursor to pointer so when we hover over this we have a different cursor and uh, we will also set the Z index to 100 so that it always stays on the top of everything. Now let's style the icon inside this division. So scroll to top I because we had this I tag inside our scroll to top division. And for this we'll just set the color to white and we'll set the font size to 24 pixels and the padding to 14 pixels now initially we don't want this to be visible so here we will go ahead and uh, set the opacity to 0 and we can see the icon has now disappeared but when we hover over that position we have this different cursor so we want to completely disable the pointer events so just type pointer events to none now when we hover over that position we don't have any pointer events now what we'll do is when we scroll down we will add a class called active to the scroll to top division and when that class is added to this division we want to set the opacity to 1 and the pointer events to auto so we'll also set the transition to 400 milliseconds so here we'll type scroll to top dot active now make sure that you don't have any space between these two words because we want these two classes to be applied at the same time. Alright, now here we will set the opacity to 1 and pointer events to auto. Alright, that's it with the styling. Now let's go to our JavaScript file and write some code. Now the first thing to do is reference our scroll to top division over here. So just type const scroll to top and we'll set it to document dot query selector and uh, since we have a class called scroll to top we have to type dot scroll to top now we'll add an event listener to this so scroll to top dot add event listener and uh, we will listen for the click event and we'll create a function over here and when we click on that button we want the web page to be scrolled all the way to the top so for that you have to type window dot scroll to so this is a built-in method in JavaScript you can even pass an argument of object over here so just create an object and uh, here we will pass some options and uh, we'll set the top to 0 left to 0 and we'll set the behavior to smooth and that's it with the scroll to top event listener now the last thing we need to do is display our button when we scroll down 200 pixels from the top. So for that you have to listen to the scroll event on window. So just type window.addEventListener and just type scroll over here and we'll create a function. And here we will check whether the window page y offset is greater than or equal to 200. So page by offset is basically the number of pixels we have scrolled from the top. So just type if window dot page y offset is greater than or equal to 200. Then we'll add a class called active to scroll to top. So we'll type scroll to top dot class list dot add and we'll type active over here and if that's not the case then uh, we'll remove the class so just copy this line of code and paste it over here and here instead of adding we will remove this class alright that's it with our JavaScript now let's go ahead and test this so when we scroll down when we reach about 200 pixels we can see this button appear right here and uh, when we click on that button will be taken smoothly to the top of our page. So we have written all the code for our scroll to top button. Now let's add this to our blogger website. So I have logged into my blogger account and uh, let's go to theme and then click on edit HTML. Now the first thing you have to do is copy the link of font awesome to your blogger website. So just go to index.html and uh, copy this line of code. 
and uh, here we will search for the ending head tag and just hit enter and we'll paste our font awesome code right here now the next thing to do is copy our uh, scroll to top button so we'll just copy these lines of code and we can paste it anywhere in the body so we'll just go over here and uh, we'll paste it just where the body tag begins the reason we can paste this anywhere in the body is because we are setting a position of fixed in our CSS. So no matter what, it will always be on the same position. Now the next thing we will do is copy our CSS. So just go to style.css and copy all the code from here. And we'll paste it where all the styles are written. So if we scroll down, we can see the styles over here. Let's just add our style right here. So we will add a comment and we'll type scroll to top button and we'll paste the styles right here. All right, that's it with the styles. Now the last thing we have to do is copy the JavaScript. So just go to main.js and copy these lines of code and we'll go to the end of our uh, theme and uh, just before the body tag ends we'll create a script tag and uh, we'll write our code inside that so here we'll type script and we'll close it right here and we'll paste our javascript code in between all right that's it with the javascript now let's go ahead and save this theme and uh, let's click on view blog and let's scroll down and here we can see when we reach 200 pixels we get this scroll to top button and uh, when we click on that we get taken to the top of our uh, page and we get this button in all of our pages so let's go to the second post and uh, let's scroll down and we can see this button right here all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day